Hello. <laughs> Hello, stream. Hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's our stream time. We streaming. Hi. <laughs> How you guys doing? Welcome to welcome to Wednesday art stream. Bit of an unusual one, but we're making it happen. Early by thirty seconds, yeah. Cause I felt like it. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Hi, everybody. We are we are working on merch today. We are working on uh, some Hollow Stars merch because uh, I need to finish these boys. <laughs> I've got a set of eight that I gotta finish before Momocon, and in order to have them done before and like ordered by Momocon, I gotta have them done by like mid May at the absolute latest. Um, and I'm panicking because I still have to do seven more. <laughs> Uh, so we're working on a Hakka today. We're drawing Hakka, my boy, my purple boy. Here he is. Um, because I ran like a 20 minute poll on Twitter and I was like, which one of these boys do I ink first? And, and Twitter said Hakka. So we're drawing a Hakka. <laughs> you can do it, sir. Thank you. Please believe in me. <laughs> but yes, we work on the Hakka today. Horrible confirmed? Confirmed! But yeah, actually, let me... Let me get his concept art up on my screen so I can see it a little easier. Put him underneath Twitch chat. <laughs> there. I see him. I'm just, I'm, I'm s scooting stuff around on my external monitor so I have a better reference. Give me just a moment. Okay, we're all good. We are set, we are good. It is inking time. Yeah, so I've got these boys I want to finish before Momocon. Um, I would love to do, at the very least, if I don't do any of the other characters, I I gotta finish a Stampede Vash keychain. I finished watching the series the other day when the last episode came out, and I will be the first one to admit that I was kind of lukewarm on the episodes leading up to the finale. But oh my god! That ending was so cool. <laughs> it was like, Jiminy Christmas. I'm okay with like the last few episodes being kind of weird because that was, oh my God, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would love to do a Vash before then. Um, and I would also love to get some Witch Hat Atelier stuff done too. Even if it's just my boy Kifri. I keep saying that I want to do it, but there's apparently, like, a big demand for it because the, the, the series is really popular right now, and I know the anime is coming out soon. Brought me back from my work, my stupid, lovely, true, sweet tree son. No, he's so, he's so great. I love him. Like, okay, full disclosure, I started watching the original anime from, like, way back. And I'm not, like, super into it. I watched, like... Six or seven episodes, I think. Um, it's cute. It's not like completely rapturing my attention, but it's, it's cute. It's fun. I'll watch like an episode every now and then. Um, but Stampede is just so pretty to look at. And I love, I know it's like contentious, but the 3D is just fucking gorgeous on anyone who thinks it's, oh, it's bad because it's 3D on, it's bad on principle. 
um, can shut the fuck up, frankly. Three looks freaking awesome, and I just want to run my fingers through Vash's hair. He's cute. But yeah, but I would love to get my Hollow Stars boys done because I've been saying that I'm gonna do it for months. And a few of them are gonna be at Momocon, like they're guesting. Um, they're doing like meet and greets and stuff, so I'm like, well, gotta finish the boys. I also still need to finish like Prince and stuff too, but I figure Prince can wait. Cause I can finish Prince a little bit more last minute, you know, cause I like print them myself at home. I can be working on prints and stickers up until the 11th hour, but... Charms I gotta order and takes like two weeks to ship them to me, so... I don't want to cut it that close. Yeah, so another thing I did today was, uh, so I finished all my comic work for the week yesterday, which pat self on the back for. I'm ahead of schedule on my shit. Yay. <laughs> um, and then today, this morning, I woke up at, you know, like, eight, and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, whip out my next YouTube video in, like, three hours, and then I did. <laughs> So, uh, I'm probably gonna finish- it's not 100% finished, I still have to record and edit the outro, but... Um, my next video should be going up on Monday! Next Monday! But it'll be up for early access for Patreon subscribers and channel members probably tonight if I can get everything done and recorded before then. My issue right now is that I'm not 100% satisfied with it. It's just me, like... It came together really quickly because the script was a little bit shorter. But... I'm just not sure if the humor in it is landing. So... <laughs> I might upload an unlisted version and send it to my friends and be like, Hey, I can I make this funnier? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, my thing right now is, like, YouTube technically, work-wise, is a lower priority. But YouTube is making me good money right now, so I don't want to abandon the channel even though I'm busy. Especially because I only upload every other week. And, uh... My train of thought completely derailed. <clears throat> There's my water. There. I'm gonna come back to this boy's hair because it's such a mess. <laughs> but then his clothes are also like very detailed, and I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> oh sweet Jesus. But Sleepy Wisteria, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. Oh, yeah, but also, in case you guys haven't seen it, um, 
I am planning on doing an FAQ slash Q&A video. I'm calling it an FAQ&A video uh, for my YouTube channel when I hit 50,000 followers or subscribers on YouTube, which is gonna happen mm, probably in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I'm taking questions now if folks have them. Uh, I have a uh, YouTube, I have a community post on my YouTube, but I also have a comment about it on, I made a thread on Discord for it, uh, taking questions and stuff. And I also have a thing on Twitter, where it's like, reply to this with any questions, and if I like them and I have a good answer for them, I might answer them in the video. So if you guys have any questions for moi, you can submit those to those various places. I'm not sure when I'm going to make that video. It's probably not going to be for a couple more weeks. But I figured I would go ahead and start gathering questions now. So I can start thinking about good answers. I'm gonna have to come back and redo the inks. Make them a little thicker, but it's getting there. Remember from the last VTuber guy you did as well, super complicated design. Yeah, it's like, would it kill these guys to have slightly less complicated outfits for me to draw? <laughs> Why you gotta draw them so complicated? Why all their outfits have to have a bajillion different things hanging off of them? I am in pain! But I love them, so it's okay. <laughs> One of many reasons why my VTuber outfit is not overly complicated. It's so that I can draw myself without forgetting all the details. I actually have been wanting to put in some work, start getting work work done on my uh, my new outfit that I want to get done. But it involves me taking time and drawing it, and it's time that I don't super have just yet. <laughs> Ain't that just the way. But I would love to get my new outfit done by this summer because I think it would be good to have for some of the streams that I'm planning once the games and questions come out. You're gonna play Tears of the Kingdoms when it comes out. Yes, but probably, probably not on stream if I'm being honest. Because oh. I feel like the new Zelda, it's a game that I want to experience for me. Because, you know, Zelda's so fucking special. It, it is legit one of my favorite franchises and stuff. And Tears of the Kingdom, if it's gonna be anything like Breath of the Wild was, I just... I just want to enjoy it, you know? I want to enjoy it and not have to worry about only playing it while I'm streaming. I might stream, like, 
first impressions, like the very first time I turn it on and play it. But I probably, no, I, I definitely will not stream the entire game because I, I want to be able to take that one at my own pace and, and play it when I want and how I want. So I'm going to be taking that one easy. Your how to web comic book inspired me to adapt and adjust my schedule to build some better self-discipline for my own work stuff. So thank you. Ah, oh, nice. I'm glad. We love taking time and figuring out our best schedules and stuff. I'm glad it was helpful. Because, yeah, I, you guys commented on it on the last stream, but it kind of went by a little too fast, so I didn't get a chance to comment on it. Um, about how the book, it, it's webcomic specifically, but it does have a lot of other info that I've just picked up about, like, managing your time as a creative and also just, like, you know, general writing and drawing advice and just, like, managing expectations advice and things of that nature. And, boy, your hand is a, a wee bit fucked up there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Haka. Oh, no. <laughs> we're gonna just erase that and pretend like that didn't happen. And uh, we're probably gonna resketch this hand is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna just, you know, casually resketch this hand, I think. Just real casually come in here. The book is useful on a number of levels. Well, I'm glad you guys think so. The Kickstarter for the new book is probably happening, like, first half of April, by the way. Um, I don't have an exact launch date set in stone yet, because I'm trying to finish getting all my, my chickens in a row first. I want to finish, you know, like, at least detailed sketches of all the extra merch. But once I have that, I shall be unstoppable. I'm kind of nervous for the Kickstarter, though. I hope it does well. Once I have a link for you guys, I will shill the shit out of it. <laughs> Got, like, claw hands on one hand. I always feel like I want to draw stuff too detailed for chibis. And then they come out too detailed, and I'm like, ah, oh, beans are too detailed. You know, making stuff cute, you want to, like, really exaggerate the details. I feel like this is probably... Like, it's a good hand, but it's not cute enough, you know? Cute hands is, like, rounder... Shorter, kind of chubby your fingers. There's a fine line, and I am not very good at it. <laughs> well, speaking of Zoral, though. God, I'm so excited! Cannot wait for the new game. It's gonna be so much fun. Have you guys seen the new, um... The new trailer they put out with like, or well, I guess it's not a trailer, it's like the gameplay that they did the other day. The fuse mechanic looks awesome. <laughs> I can't wait for like the speed runs of like, Tears of the Kingdom dick car percent, where someone just sees how quickly they can make a car that's shaped like a dick. <laughs> Cause you know that someone's going to. P their social media is gonna be flooded with cursed pictures of people's awful cars that they put together. And you know that people are gonna take every opportunity to make one shaped like a fucking dick. It's gonna happen. It's a law of the internet, practically. Because people are immature. 
You know that people are gonna do it. But then it's gonna turn into a speed run. I, I was watching, there's a, I, I watch a lot of Point Crows videos and I was watching some of his older like goofy speed runs that he did on YouTube. And there was like, put the butter on the dog percent. <laughs> it's like, how quickly can you find a dog and put butter on a dog? And it's, it's so, it's just so stupid. And I, I unironically love it. <laughs> what was another one? What was another one? There was another stupid one that he did. Like there was like smash percent where it's like you have to, you know, like the great fairies that you use to upgrade your items. Um, if you level up an item all the way, like the, it, when she goes in to like um, level up the item, she like goes in for a kiss or whatever and the screen fades to black. But if you level up like the very last thing, if you level an item up to its highest potential, it's like she goes in for a big hug. And I think that's what like the, the smash percent is, is like see how far you can uh, upgrade your s equipment in the lowest amount of time. It's so stupid, but I just find it very funny. <laughs> So yeah, you guys know that uh, shit like build a dick shaped car percent is gonna be a thing. Because that's just how people on the internet do things. <sighs> Put the butter on the dog percent is still my favorite though. Cause like, what even is a context? Why is that even a speed run? <laughs> I love it, but what? <laughs> we talking about the new Zelda? Yeah, we're talking about the new Zelda. I'm talking about what stupid speedruns do we think that people are gonna come up with? And then some of my favorite goofy ass speedruns. Put the butter on the dog percent! High quality gaming. Butter dog, <laughs> yeah, butter dog percent. It's a speed run. I don't know, I think it's fucking funny and stupid. Oh, hydrate. Is the second book like the first book but tacked on pages or is it a new sequence of pages? It's a little bit of both. So it's mostly um, the original book with new pages added, but it's new pages added throughout the entire book. So like, I can't just go and say, hey, here's just the new pages because the new pages are like page nine, page 10, page 30, page 52, um, stuff like that. A lot of the stuff from the original book is kept in there, but basically the new book is adding on a lot of new content that like goes into more detail and things like that. Plus there's some stuff that completely was not in the first book at all um, that got added. Aka, I love you. Fuck your little ball bracelet. I'm dying inside. <laughs> you can't make me draw a fucking sphere, I refuse. professional artist, you cannot make me draw a circle. I simply will not do it. I'm 
breaking my own rules right now. I'm spending a whole lot of time on very little, on small details that no one's gonna pay that much attention to. But I'm doing it anyway, because I like inking. Even though this bracelet is such a small fucking part and the actual charm is gonna be like this fucking big, no one's gonna see all the details I'm putting into these little beads. But I'm doing it anyway, because I am cursed. I'm a cursed person. <laughs> Oh, and save. Save, redeem. Meow. Meow. <laughs> it's like that one TikTok sound that roughly goes like, you're sending me to hell? I'm not going, what are you gonna do? Send me to hell? I'm already not gonna- Yeah, 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 no, I know exactly which one you mean, the- if the devil sends me to hell, I will simply not go. What will he do? Send me to hell? I'm already not going. The fuck? <laughs> there. Blam. Little guy bracelet. Confirmed. Put all effort and motivation into a tiny bracelet is so girl boss. Thank you. It's cursed girl boss energy because I do not need to be doing it. But I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I sometimes wish I was one of those artists who like abstracted stuff so tiny and did like the super duke super duper cute chibis that are like very abstracted. But I don't know, it's just not my vibe really. Okay, I need to scroll over because that only half has half has half his jacket visible, and I need the whole thing. There we go. Got like these little floofy balls on his chest. You make very good background noise for work, like the four-hour-long video essays. Well, I'm glad because this is definitely not as coherent or well-written as a, a four-hour-long video essay. But I'm glad that people find comfort in the sound of my voice. <laughs> Oh, my bus over here. You chibis are adorable. Come on now. No, I'm, I'm not saying that mine are bad. I'm just saying that there's like a very specific style that I love that doesn't really mesh well with me always wanting to have like really detailed like little chibi chibis also. And I'm like, ugh. I just want both, but I, I physically cannot have both and it makes me sad. It's like that meme where it's like you see an art style you like and you're like, wow, I wish my art looked like that. And then you see another art style that's completely different and you're like, wow, I wish my art style was like that. And it just keeps going forever. Yeah, that's me. That's that's my struggle. <laughs> One of my friends got a bunch of merch for her birthday after I showed her your store. Aw, still your friend. I said thank you. <laughs> Stop being relatable. Never. You can't make me. Oh, I didn't even notice when I was sketching. He's got like this little bow down here. That's so cute. That's so cute. He's got a little bow. And then two tassels. He's got a big tassel on this side and two tassels on this side. Yeah, like, okay, there's... I forget her name. It's slipping my mind. But the artist who did all the chibi pins for Critical Role... I love her art style so much, like her chibi stuff specifically. I feel like she has a very, like, very bright, simplified, abstracted chibi style that's just, like, so fucking cute. Um... I'm, her name is slipping my mind at the moment, though. I know she's Korean, but I can't remember what her name is. No, it's not Elaine. It's somebody else. A Sunny Disposition is her username. I don't remember her actual name. 
but like the little chibi pin she did for Critical Role. I love that art style so freaking much. I feel like the way that she simplifies the characters is like very, very cute. Cause you know, like doing cute little chibis, it's all about simplifying, right? And it's notably like something that I struggle with a little bit because you know, these characters have so many cool like details in their outfits and you want to show them all. But at the same time, like when you're working on a more like chibi-fied kind of, I don't like using the word distorted because it sounds rude. Jenny Park, that's what it is. I knew I had a feeling her last name was Park, but I couldn't remember. It was like, ah, what is her name? But yes. And so I, I struggle with like, I want to do cute, cute, chibi, chibi, cute, cute stuff. But I also want to include all of the details and those two things do not mesh well. And so it's something that I struggle with, but I, I really like seeing people who do a good job at it. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, I like my art style. I just wish that sometimes I was able to, like, work outside the box a little bit more and get a little bit wackier with my proportions and things and get real cute with shit. Maximum cute shit. Maybe for a future mail club, I will make an attempt. Dang, I have to buy our pins now. Thanks, Star. Good. We love supporting artists in this house. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. I have several of them. I, I just collected my faves of the Critical Role ones. I have Caleb, and I have Kile, and I believe I have the Molly Mock pin, too. I'm not gonna put a shit ton of details into this braided rope. I'm not gonna do it. I'm stopping myself, damn it. He's gonna be so fucking small. No one's even gonna see it. Uh, another artist I really like who has kind of like a similar, like, really nice mastery of like shapes and stuff in chibis. Uh, I forget how to spell it exactly, but I follow her on TikTok. Her name is Marikyun. Um, She does like really, really cute, like, chibi stuff with like lots of bright colors and thick line work. Um, let me see if I can... Yes, is this her Instagram? Nope. <laughs> Here she is. Yes, I'm not following her on Twitter, but I'm following her on other places. Instagram the figure yeah so here's the link I'm dropping it in the chat oops just like the very very cute like kind of chibi style very sweet very cute nice colors that kind of thing that's what I like Yeah, I was actually thinking recently, there's part of me that wants to uh, redesign the cast-off chibis I have in my store. I feel like it would be nice to do, like, a merch set of all the characters in a new, like, slightly different art, like, in an updated art style with their updated outfits. As, like, little stickers and acrylic charms for the shop. I think that would be nice. Because I, I drew those, like, four years ago. <laughs> the ones in the store right now. Somebody bought all three of my cast-off main character acrylic charms this morning. I packed up their order. I was like, oh, people like my kids! Yay! I always get so happy when people buy 
my original character stuff. It's like, yay, people like my children. Yay! <laughs> and like, I know I have a lot of people like subscribe to my mail club and stuff who get my children every month delivered straight to their door. But it always makes me like happy when someone buys like the acrylic charms and stuff. It's like, yay, those are my kids. <laughs> those are my kids. Thank you for purchasing my children. <laughs> Excited for Island Punch in the Teefs. Yeah. <laughs> Your kids got a good grade in merchandise. I'm glad. And thing that is normal to want and possible to achieve. out of context. Yup. <laughs> okay, I need to zoom out a little bit more, but zoom, zoomed out is too zoomed out and zoomed in is too zoomed in and I am in pain. <laughs> oh, somebody just bought something off of my store. Judging by the price, it was probably books. Or not books. Oh, hey! Well, hi, my cyclone. Thank you for the sub! Three months in a row. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining the club, comrade. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Okay, so he's got like a lot of detail on the little waist wraps. But because of the way his leg is positioned, I don't have to draw most of it. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zoraldo. Zoraldo music. He's got like Hakama pants, but they're juke together at the bottom. They don't free flow. I scrolled too far on Jenny's store and made it back to my Hamilton phase. Are you not throwing away your shot? <laughs> oh man, it's been so long since I've listened to that musical. I never had like a Hamilton phase, but I did like, there were a couple months at my old job when I listened to the soundtrack a lot on repeat. That's why a couple of the songs are in a cast-offs theater playlist. Or Broadway musical show stop and tunes playlist. Speaking of that, I did uh, promise you guys a karaoke stream when we got to 40k. I don't have time to do it this week. And if I'm being honest, I probably won't have time to do it next week either. Because I gotta get all my stuff prepped for the Kickstarter. Once the Kickstarter prep is done and launched, um, then my life will be a lot easier. But, okay, did I cross these the right way? I did not. Fucking doodles.
think I kind of misdrew these because in the front concept, in like the front facing concept art, the shoes look very like tall and skinny. But they're actually a lot chunkier if you look at them from the side. Where do they connect? Okay. Back here, kind of. We've got two strappies on his shoes for extra security. Yeah, they're like those clunky, I forget the exact name of the type of shoes. Not Geta, because Geta are the ones that have like the two things on the bottom. him is with his little shoes. He little shoes. He big shoes, actually, but, you know, whatever. hate this hand. Dang it! Art is pain. Art is suffering. is so nice. Thank you. I'm doing my very best. I'm probably gonna have to come back and like tidy up this whole thing because there's just a lot of detail up there. Just a lot of detail going on up there. I still haven't finished all of it because he's got like, his little he's got like four Obi all at the same time and I'm like sir, hello? <laughs> Where are you putting all those? Oh man, so I'm kind of snalty. You guys know how I talked about um, I made a cool little extension for chat that's like a timer and it'll go off and it says like, hey, watch my newest video and stuff like that. Well, I found out it doesn't only work on uh, just uploads. It also applies, it also ch says like shorts and also live streams. And so it's not really a super effective tool for like just my uploads. And I'm like, ah, damn it. I wonder if there's a way to change that. So that it only does uploads. Cause those are the ones that I really need to be like pushing, you know? Fucking 
feathers. thing is that his sleeve doesn't go down that far. Might make it go down that far just so it looks cooler, but eh. We are just playing fuck around and find out. <laughs> Big ol' feather, floofy feather cape. Big feather cape goes whoosh. <laughs> goes whoosh. Those lines are crispy. Yeah, crisp. Crisp lines. Crisp and clean line arte. We love it. <laughs> it's gonna be fun to color. And by fun, I mean it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> I'm quiet today. I'm just focused. <laughs> focused. Focused coloring. Drawing all the little chips and these little wingies and the feather cape. What if spot black though? Ooh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Maybe I keep that. Maybe we keep the spot black because it's cool and neat and nice. Maybe we keep that, actually. <laughs> you aren't like contractually obligated to constantly speak. You. Would be surprised. <laughs> A lot of people's like, uh, streamer advice, tips for streamers, always be talking, never shut up. <laughs> 
to the point where it's like, if you stop talking, people will leave. But I have been kind of tempted to do more just like silent work streams. Even though I feel like not as many people would, you know, watch those. Because it's a lot less exhausting and I can work a lot faster when I'm not having to also entertain chat. But at the same time, even if I put like silent work stream in the description, I'm worried that people would be like, why isn't she talking? Why isn't she answering my questions? Stuff like that. Because whenever I do it on TikTok, that's what happens. And maybe that's just TikTok being TikTok, but I know some some folks on YouTube can be similar. I remember in a stream not too long ago. I don't remember which one, so don't ask me. But uh someone I I was like doing an art stream and I kind of zoned out for a little bit. And someone was like, "Why did you stop talking?" Don't stop talk. Don't be quiet. And I'm like, I don't even know who you are, so I'm not going to dignify this with a response, but... Sheesh. <laughs> the best advice is this one. Do what you love and be yourself. You will attract a community that enjoys you for you. And that's certainly true, yes. But I mean, I think because I gained a community now, I'm, I'm not saying it's like, no, it's bad advice and it's wrong. It's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that like, so far, I have attracted a stream audience that likes to listen to me talk, reportedly. And so now I feel like I gotta be talking during streams. I feel like I'm more entertaining when I'm talking, you know? I don't want people to be bored when they're watching me. Love your videos. Thank you. I'm here for chill vibes. Well, chill vibes you will be getting. Because that's what we listen to on this here stream, is we listen to chill music and we have some motherfucking chill vibes. <laughs> and get a soundboard loaded with your fave with your phrases. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just like, hi! I'm Star! I can't draw hands. Art! Webtoon sucks, and here's why. It's literally like a 10-minute soundboard button that just goes off about why I hate Webtoon. And you can't stop it once the button has been pressed. commit art crimes yeah <laughs> what other shit would be on a star soundboard okay well the bulk of the body is done Where's my yeah? Read my webcomic, castoff-comic.com. Now it is time to try and conquer this fucking hair. Let's -a go. Ah. Uh.
hair. Normalize right you mouth, embrace right you mouth, oh god. <laughs> right you mouth. You guys are so obsessed with right you mouth. I haven't even it's been over a month. <laughs> it's been over a month since that stream. I will lay waste to an empire should definitely be on the soundboard. You guys, I've only said that once. You guys are the one who, ones who keep quoting it. That should be on a chat soundboard. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to make a soundboard of my own chat. And that'll be on there for you guys. Because you say it way more often than me. Ugh. Mega chat soundboard. <laughs> Hi, yeah, just spams hydrates. If I ever end up fully leaving YouTube, you guys are er, fully leaving Twitch, you guys are gonna be beside yourselves. You won't know what to do with yourselves without being able to drown me. I actually saw a post on Tumblr today that was like, with Twitch's whole things with the channel points, people are putting, you know, basic self-care tasks at really low redeems, and it's like watering a Nintendog. Am I just a Nintendog to y'all? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's not a parasocial relationship. They're more like a Nintendog or a houseplant to me. I spend my points to water them. <laughs> If you have like 900 folks on your Discord, we can organize a rescue party. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, do you mean like you're gonna find where I live and come be like, why did you stop streaming? Holds a spray bottle up to my face like a gun. <laughs> You need to hydrate. Spritz, spritz, spritz. <laughs> hydrate or dehydrate sprays me with water. <laughs> so then you seem to be the only one who's disagreeing. <laughs> You seem to be the only one who's disagreeing with the fine star's house and spray me with water like a house plant. Just missed me. If you are a spray, you are a Nintendo dog, then the spray would be a punishment. So, you know what? That is true. 
but there's that whole saying about you can't you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink but something something point redeems are different than leading a streamer to water it's forcing them to drink water and stay hydrated so i would argue that that the stream redeems are more like a spray bottle because you're forcing me to <laughs> Spritz, spritz. Real talk though, please don't don't come to my house. If you come to my if people I don't know come to my house, I will not answer the door. Because I don't answer the door when anybody comes to my door. But especially not people who find me on the internet. That's really fucking creepy, and we don't do this. We don't do this, okay? Oh. My headphones just died. Okay, that was really weird. meant because you made a joke before about disappearing into the woods. Oh, okay. See, I had already forgotten I had said that is the thing. I have such a terrible memory with stuff on I say on streams. Like, I remember when I used to watch a lot of Let's Players, and they would be like, yeah, I don't remember three quarters of the things that I say during our Let's Plays. And I'm like, how can you not remember? It's things that come out of your mouth, and now I'm a streamer, and now I get it. I will forget things that I said two minutes before. It's like, what are you talking about? I didn't say that. It's like, chat's riffing on a joke that I made two minutes ago, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you okay? Yeah, I just... Listen, sometimes when you're streaming, words just come out of you. Words just happen. You don't remember every single word you ever say in your life. And I don't remember every single thing I said on stream. It's fine. It does have a lot of detail on him, but he's coming together so much faster than Magni did. I don't know what I was doing when I was streaming, like, my Magni art. That one took me so much longer than it should have. And for why, really. You turned out fabulous. Well, I'm glad you think so. I do really like how his chibi came out, but like, why do we keep giving VTubers such complicated designs? I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. <laughs> ah. Okay, and then he's got... Some little loopy loops. Ponytail. Ponytail loopy loops. 
little loopy loops loopy loops loopy loops Mm. Okay, yeah, so he does have like two little tassels. <laughs> I love tassels. Like, unironically, I really adore, like, character designs with tassels and stuff on them. They're just so much fun. I remember I did a Monster Hunter cosplay many, many, many years ago, and the very first thing I did was count out and make a whole just shit ton of tassels because the outfit had so many tassels on it. It's just like, yes. Yes! Tassels! <laughs> to this day, is still one of my favorite cosplays I've ever made. I just love it very much. I miss cosplaying, but it's hard for me to get back into it now. I just... My motivation to make new cosplays is, like, in the floor right now. It's so bad. Because, like, my friends keep telling me, it's like, sorry, you should cosplay this with us. Sorry, you should cosplay this with us. And, like, I want to, but my motivation is just, like, not working with me at all, even a little bit. And it brings me pain. Okay, and then he has three feathers on his head. Go like whoop. 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 Oop. It's probably a very good thing that Haka's design is mostly purple and not mostly yellow. Otherwise, people would make fun of him for having hair and accessories that look too much like bananas. Because that's just the vibe I'm getting from drawing all these shapes. Giving me banana vibes. He has, yeah, like, he's purple, but can you guys imagine if he was yellow? Like, this shape in his hair it looks like bananas. People, I'm not saying it, I'm saying that other people would say it. A beautiful chicken boy. <laughs> Ponytail. There we go. I love ponytails. It's one of my favorite things in character design is like if a character has a ponytail, I'm looking at them, I'm like, yes. Ponytail. New favorite character. Thank you.
These hollow stars boys give me not one, but two ponytails. Yes, thank you, because Shinri has a big old ponytail too, and I'm like, yes, thank you for this food. I eat well tonight. <laughs> thank you for feeding me delicious character designs. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Would absolutely rock a yellow palette. You guys are making me want to, like, do the flat colors, but do them wrong. What if I just color him yellow? Not for the final design, but just for when we're on stream and we're fucking around and we're having fun together. Maybe if you guys are nice to me, I'll do it. in the chat's like, do it! <laughs> Aka! Oh, that's a tangent with his eyebrow. Oh, wow. No, we're fixing that. <laughs> Now his other eyebrow looks too low. Oh, cursed. Now there's kind of a weird tangent with his hair. No! I must fix. I must fix it. Be like, this eye looks too closed. And carve away a little bit its eyelid. It would be easier if I did it before I merge the layers, but it is too late, so what can you do? This is going to be an acrylic charm, so it has to look good both ways. This is one of my fave streams I've watched. Oh, well, thank you. Welcome to Strim. You got draw win. Maybe I just do a nice spot black for his shirt because his shirt is black. Yes, agreed. 10 out of 10. I forgot his little earring. Shit, both of them. Shit. He has more bananas, not feathers on his ears. Little earring. There, got it. And he has another little tassel on this side. Oh, stretch break and hydrate. Hydrate and stretch break. Oh, geez, oh, beans. Look at him. Need to work on ink some more. Sometimes for me, drawing and inking digitally feels more like carving than actually drawing, if that makes sense. Because I love to, like, make a shape and then kind of, like, carve it out a little bit. It just feels nice.
So like I'll fill in a space entirely with black and then just like kind of go in and erase it to get the forms out. I do it when I'm sketching too. This feels nice. Like, okay, he does have the claws. We don't need claw erasure in this chat. <laughs> in the draws. looks good. I do want to draw the little feathers that I drew around him in the sketch though because I think it's cute. Feathers. See, I'm trying a new thing with my acrylic charms where I want them to take up as much of like a square shape as possible so that they aren't just like straight up and down composition wise. I just find that to be more uh, visually nice. It's looking so good. Thank you. Zoraldo music, let's go. Oh, no, wait. This isn't Zoraldo. I was tricked. I was befuddled. I was lied to. It's Hell's Moving Castle. The opening just sounded fam It sounded similar. <laughs> Sad I don't know this VTuber because I'm loving this design. It's Hakka. He's from Hollow Stars EN. He's a sweet boy. From what I've seen. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a hashtag fake fan. I don't watch streams very frequently. I mostly just watch a lot of like clip highlights. Just because I'm busy. Um, but Hawk is very sweet from what I've seen of him. He speaks a lot. Um, I think he's from South America. He speaks a lot of Spanish on his streams too. And sometimes he just kind of like switches back and forth. And I'm always surprised at how much I actually can understand when he speaks Spanish. And I'm like, hey, wait a sec. Estas español. <laughs> Wait, no, I super said that wrong. Oops. Um, listen, I'm better at listening and speaking. <laughs> How did I know that was going to get some fans' attention? <laughs> I don't remember where he's from exactly. I think I read it somewhere, but he, he jokes about, he's like, hollow E-N? No, hollow E-S for español. <laughs> and I'm like, look at this little guy. He's fun. I watched his, uh, I watched part of his stream with Iron Mouse the other day and it was really sweet just listening to him talk. Again, I don't watch a lot of streams. The only one who's like full streams I've watched in the past is Shinri and that's just because he has a nice voice and he plays a lot of horror games and I'm into it. Everyone says that Shinri sounds like Markiplier and I'm like, not everyone who has a deep voice sounds like Markiplier. Get your ears checked. <laughs> Damn it. They don't sound anything alike. They just have a they just both have deep voices. Jeez. 
Oh, I guess I can turn off the sketch now. What's this guy based off of again? He's an exorcist and he's like a bird dude. Hear him. Hear him is. <laughs> oh, save redeem. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the reference before I save. Yeah, I just, I like characters with ponytails. I like his design, it's purple. I like purple. <laughs> Where'd you get the ref sheet? The, the wiki. <laughs> the fan wiki. Feel so bad I can't watch certain friend streams because they like spoopy games and I gotta take care of my health. Yeah, I know some people don't like spookies, but I am a big fan of spookies. I enjoy spookies. I don't play a lot of spookies myself, um, but I like watching spookies. I have just like a morbid curiosity with horror a lot of the times. Like I've watched so many Let's Plays of horror games, but I pretty much never play them myself. So it's like, I don't actually know how I would respond if I played a horror game. Like, I play Phasmophobia. Um, but does that count? <laughs> I spent most of that game just berating the ghost for being, like, bad at pleasing women. So, I mean... <laughs> yeah, pretty much, like, anytime there's a new Resident Evil game, I'm like, well, time to go watch Scary Game Squad play it. I haven't for 4 yet, and I was actually honestly debating, it's like, do I want to stream Resident Evil 4? Of all the Resident Evil games, that's the one that I, ironically, the one that I know the least about. Aside from like 5 and 6, but from what I gather, nobody knows 5 or 6. <laughs> I know we joked that we would, that we should do an Outlast uh, stream. And I should title it, Watch a Man's Dick Get Cut Off Live on Stream. <laughs> but, I don't know, that one doesn't interest me as much. I kind of wanted to play Mortician's Assistant, but I feel like the hype for that one is kind of passed a little bit. And I've watched playthroughs of it, so I'm like, eh, it wouldn't be as surprising now. If there's a horror game I'm interested in, I generally just watch a Let's Play of it. I don't play it myself. But I'm like, do I want to stream the Resident Evil 4 game? Because I know that, like, of the Resident Evil games, that's the one that everyone loves so much. But it's the one that I arguably know the least about. And so I would be able to go in. I've never watched a playthrough of that game. Like, I've watched playthroughs of all the recent Resident Evil games, right? So, like, 7 and 8. 7 I've watched so many playthroughs of. I love Resident Evil 7, but I've never played it myself. I've just watched a lot of other people play it. Uh, I've watched, like, one playthrough of 8, so, like, I get the idea. Um, and then 1, 2, and 3, the remakes I've watched, uh, Let's Plays of. But I know pretty much nothing about 4 except the memes. And so it's like, dude, I could. This would be, like, the most blind I could get out of a Resident Evil playthrough. Hmm. <laughs> I was considering it. But it wouldn't be anytime like super soon, probably. And I don't know. Is it actually that spooky? Is it gonna give us the spooky times experience? I don't know. Do people wanna watch me play a spooky? I don't know. I'm just gonna yell at the ghosts the whole time. I guess there's no ghosts in uh, Resident Evil though. They're they're Zorombos. It's different. more action than horror, yeah. There was a stream where you told a story how you were playing Phasmophobia and found a ribcage in a house, except I didn't hear you say it was a game, so I was sitting there like, huh, ribcages in Texan houses. Okay. No, there was... Mm. <laughs> yeah, that that's a thing in a game, not a thing in real life. I don't just have a random ribcage sitting in my house. I promise. I, I have not killed a man recently. I mean... <laughs> Texans do love ribs, though. It's true. <laughs> I do love ribs. That is factually correct. A 
Okay, I think I like the inks on this. And that came together so much faster than Magni's did. Oh my god. Anyway, let's ink a bird man. Or let's cut let's lay down some flats. What I do is I like to take the flats straight off the character, and then I will tweak them after I lay in all the flat colors. <laughs> there was a stream where you kept said kept on screaming and it goes something about fucking its mom to get an achievement. I don't really remember much. Yeah, that was Phasmophobia. That was the first time I've ever played it. And we were trying to uh get get a bonus objective and get the to, in order to get the bonus objective, we had to get the ghost to like hunt somebody. And so we I was trying to lure it out by saying its name a whole bunch of times and it just would not come out. And so the joke was that I bullied the ghost into just hiding forever. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, fine, I guess. Fine, I guess. <laughs> it's a clip on my uh, channel if y'all are interested in watching me yell at a ghost about how I fucked his mom. It's a whole thing. You've yelled at ghosts a lot, haven't you? Just the one stream, but it was a lot concentrated in the one stream. Jack Douglas! Yes, exactly. What's up, you motherfucker? Like we've got like the teal beads. And then more gold here. And here, actually. Eh. Oh, wrong layer, wrong layer. Here, I'm actually going to just. Whoa! Oh no! There. Just put him over there. Now he is small. And I can just... Just sample colors. Purple. Purple her. And then he's got the purple SLs. We love the purple. needs to be gold. And this part needs to be gray, but it's like a little, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. So not exactly the same color. Oh, I did that wrong. Thicker belt is supposed to be gold. I meshed it up. And then this one is also a purple. More purple, lots of purple. We love the purple. And then there's like kind of this dusty darker purple for the pants. That's honestly a little bit too saturated. Let's come back in. There. Okay, 
and he's got like purple nails on his curse hand over here. But I gotta actually like get the colors right. I just keep missing spots. There's so much detail that I gotta keep track of. Sheesh. Got like a cute little white streak because he's a sad anime character. This is not true. I'm j I just made that up. <laughs> you know how the sad anime boys always have the white hair? <laughs> Star, doesn't that make Emery a sad anime boy? Yes. <laughs> Yes, she is, in fact, a sad anime boy. You guys have cracked the code. Then he's got the red tassels up here. And yes, I do see all those unfilled little gaps. I promise we're gonna get to those. His earring is gold. Oh, beans. I forgot another little thing. The socks. Beautiful sock line there. Gonna get a skin color down here in the little gap. And then gold here. And there. There. And then we'll use the same white down here for these socks. And then the same blackish gray for down here. The same purple as here. Economical coloring. Yay! Alrighty. Uh, then he's got like this random teal up here. Boop. And then all the feathers, which I'm probably just going to do white and then paint on the black later. A separate layer. A little more orange, though. There. I'll go ahead and color in all of the feathers as well. Get all those in there. Oop. And now we're gonna do some illegal art tricks! Who's ready to see some illegal art hacks? Who's ready to see me perform art crimes? Art crimes! Art crimes! Wow, look at all this unfilled space behind my line art. I sure wish there was a fast and easy way to get all the color to fill in behind the line art in just a couple of seconds. That sure would be nice and easy. I sure wish there was a way to do that. Oh, wow, I wish that was a thing, but unfortunately the technology is just too advanced. Anyway. <laughs> Don't let her cook too late. I'm already done cooking. Oh no. Oh no! Teeth. The eyes. You can't stop me from cooking. I am a master chef. Hoo ha! <laughs> 
All right, and now we are gonna do all of the little black tips on the feathers on a separate layer. Ha 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 ha. On a separate layer, we're gonna come in. We're gonna go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Actually, where we do that? I'm gonna do just like kind of a soft airbrushy gradient first. I'm gonna fix that tassel in a minute. And now we're gonna get the smudgy tool. We're gonna go wah, shwa, shwa. Oh, we need more. Shwa, shwa. Shwa, shwa. No? Am I being denied? Shwa, shwa. Yes, I'm being denied. Fine. Let's use this then. Oh, wait. I fucked up. That's why. Honestly, I think I liked how I was doing it better before. Switching! Switching! Turn down the opacity a little bit. We're just gonna feather this in. Make it look like, you guessed it, feathers. Wow. Imagine Star being good at a art. Can you imagine? Wowie zowie wow. <laughs> Mm. Nah. <laughs> I liked how it looked the first time I did it. I'm redoing it. I'm changing it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Love your art. Thank you. Well, yeah, readjusting myself in my seat. There. Yeah, I don't do do much like paintery stuff, so this is a little bit of a challenge, but I like how it looks when I just manually paint it on like this. Sometimes you don't take shortcuts. Sometimes you just do it the old-fashioned way and it looks better. That's why I always laugh when people yell at me for taking shortcuts. It's like, yeah, I only use the shortcut if it looks good. If it doesn't look good, then I just do it by hand. But if I can accomplish the same thing with a custom brush, and it takes less time, then I'll just do it the way that is easier. People get so mad. People just get so mad. They stick their heads up their own buttholes and then they just scream at me because they think that I put it there. And I might have to say, sir, I did not put that there. <laughs> you put that there. <laughs> you committing more crimes? Yes. Always. Why do my headphones keep shutting off? I know you're not low on battery, I just charged you. Not too long ago. My headphones are just having a little bit of trouble today, gang. continue to think that's the silliest thing for people to get upset about. I know, but people do. People get, people are very up in arms about like, ugh, art purist. Like that's not art because I say it's not art and you use something to make your art better and easier. That is cheating and I will not stand for it. And I'm like, bro, there are so many other things that you could be worried about right now. However, my fear now has become that, like, people are going to hear me say that and they're going to be like, Oh, so you think that AI art is legitimate now? And that is not even a little bit what I said. But I worry that people are going to come at me for that. I want to go on record here and say that AI art fucking sucks and I hate it. But also that humans using tools is not the same as AI art. So all the people saying that, oh, she's probably into AI art then because she thinks that's a tool and that's legitimate. No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. That is not what I said even a little bit. What are your thoughts on AI art? I think I just said it pretty explicitly. It fucking sucks and I hate it. We should have AI politicians instead. Stop trying to... Machina like mechanized art, a pure form of human expression. We should mechanize politicians. It's like, yeah, see how you like it when your fucking job gets taken away. Like, yeah. You think that AI art does such a good job and take your job and see how you like it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not especially worried about me personally getting replaced by AI art. Because, I mean, you know, there it's it's a repeating cycle, right? Because I guess, like, when cameras came out, it's like, oh, photorealistic painters are going to go completely, like, they're going to go out of style. But, like, no, we still have painters. Because art's a, art's a thing. But it's just, it's, it's, it's a very scary time right now. And it's just like, oh, beans. Oh, jeez. I would love to stop living through unprecedented times. Would love to have some some precedented times to live through for once in my life. <laughs> I 
I don't like to talk about current events and stuff, but it makes me anxious. I just want to draw little anime boys. What is activate cat girl mode don't goo for the Twitch rewards? It does exactly what it says. It activates cat girl mode. That's what, there we go. <laughs> yeah, cat girl mode. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. Yeah, like, here's the thing. I don't think that AI is ever going to be, like, completely erasing human artists because that would just be silly. But it's still upsetting. like little tips yeah like little hair tips are a little darker so we'll do that too the same layer as all the feather stuff Star your dang book makes me want to get back into drawing, which I haven't done since high school, and which part of the, which is part of the reason I'm readjusting my schedule to reteach myself. How dare you be so influency? Ha 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 ha! I am using my influencer powers for evil. Yes, become artiste. Ha ha! Hee <laughs> hee ho ho hee hee hee! Ha ha ha! become artiste because like that that's a thing right i remember I, I i found out pretty recently that uh my book actually has a goodread page and i there was there's not really many reviews on it um but the one review i did see that was very touching said it's like it feels like the writer actually wants you to succeed instead of just making you want to buy the book and I'm like, yeah, it's because I do want people to succeed. If I didn't want people to make comics, I wouldn't have written the damn book, right? It's like, yeah, I do want people to succeed. Thank you for, for understanding where I was coming from. Because, like, comics are fucking hard, man. But they bring me so much joy. And I want other people to get the same joy from creating that I do. Because it brings me so much happiness, you know? I want other people to feel that. The joy comes from the act of creation and also the end product, but creating is fun and seeing how people react to the comics you make and the stories you tell is so much fucking fun. And if I can help other people experience that by giving them the confidence they need, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do that. And not to bring it back to this too soon, but it's another reason why I fucking hate this AI art shit. The act of creating art is the fun part. The fa act of creating the story and 
just, you know, rotating these characters that you've had in your brain for years and years and years and finally seeing them get to come to life on the page because of something that you made. And seeing other people respond to it in ways that you hoped they would respond, in ways that you predicted, and even in ways that you didn't. That shit's amazing. And it's why I do what I do, goddammit. And I want other people to be able to experience that because it's so much fucking fun. Storytelling is amazing and art is amazing. Fuck AI art. All these fucking tech bros think they know shit. It's like, no, you know how to make yourself feel miserable. You think you can fast track the artistic expression of making a story. Let me know when you make somebody cry with a piece of AI art. And let me know how that fucking feels. I'm not gonna feel like shit. Hi, I got a little bit heated there. Sorry. <laughs> huh. It's like, I will admit that I have advocated for, I want to be extremely clear here. Using AI as a like helpful tool for certain steps of the process that do not require like human involvement, like flatting. Color flatting is so annoying and it's literally just like dr coloring in the basic like coloring books. And it's boring and if I could outsource it, I would. And I've now seen that like, there's a little AI that I saw someone make that you can take one frame of colored animation and you can tell the little robot, hey, color in the rest of the frames of animation using this one as reference. And that seems so fucking cool and that would save people so much fucking time. And that would be awesome. And like the end result isn't gonna be any different. It's just saving like hours and hours of human input, a boring human input because color flatting is like the most fucking boring part. For me at least. I know that other people, when I've, when I've talked about like the fill bucket and stuff, people say it's like, oh, well, I colored it manually because I like to do it that way. And you know, if you like to do it that way, then hell yeah, good on you. But I know for me, and like, for like animation and comics where you're just, it just takes so long and it's so boring. I would love like a tool that can just do that for me. That would be amazing. I'm not gonna have an AI write or illustrate my whole comic for me because fuck no, that's my job and that's what I like to do. But just something to make it go a little faster would be delightful. Also, Internet Angel, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream squad. You caught me in a ranty mood, but... <laughs> your model is so cute, you can have my soul already. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, you know, I don't need... You can keep your soul. That's important. <laughs> there is no, uh... There's no ticket fee for entry. Just enjoy the good vibes. And me just fucking screaming. <laughs> anyway, I got a little heated there for a while. But, uh... I have, I'm full of feelings. That's all I can say for myself. I'm just so full of feelings. Sarah's so marching for a little model on her store. It's super cute. Yeah, I do. I've got stickers. And I've got keychains. I'm a girl. <laughs> and I've got a few. I've got one art print, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make another eventually. Okay, let's do his eyes now. I love his eye color. It's like they're they're like the really light blue. But they've also got some like pink in there. It's very pretty. Emotion brain go brr. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong there. My thing is like, I know people. I have friends who make like videos and stuff and get really into like debating people on certain topics and like they get they have like they're very out there and loud with their opinions and i'm like i could never do that i i rant on stream occasionally and it's only when the witch's curse takes over <laughs> no other times i just i don't like being loud about my opinions because i don't want people to see it as an excuse to 
fight me on the internet. I've gotten in exactly one fight on Twitter before, and it was so emotionally draining. I was just like, yeah, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> I don't like getting into arguments in any sense of the word. Internet arguments? Fuck no. Real life arguments? Absolutely not. Unfortunately, I come from a family where so many people have that gene in them where they just love to get into arguments. And I'm like, confrontation makes me nauseous and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Hey! <laughs> like, I do not have these genes. I will perform confrontation if and only if it is absolutely necessary, but I'm gonna feel so nauseous about it afterwards. Let's go! So much nicer to be cheerful. Exactly. Exactly. Why would you be mean? Why would you be an asshole when it's so much easier to be nice? Whenever I see someone getting into fights on the internet, I'm just like just getting into like bad faith arguments i'm like this is a lot more about you than it does about like anybody else why are you being a dick <laughs> my dad says i'm too soft and i say well yeah well you're an asshole so what do you know <laughs> excuse me for wanting to not make people feel miserable at the thought of interacting with me. Excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> I'm strongly held political opinions are the singular thing that will ever get me to square up. Oh yeah, see, even that, I'm just like, I, I do not square up. I, I am the roundest I could possibly be. I do not square. I, I, I keep my opinions to my... Like, I have strongly held opinions. I keep them to myself because I don't want to fight people about them. And you, people might call me a coward for that, but I just... I. It's self-care, man. Fighting makes me so fucking nauseous. Like, legitimately ill. <laughs> my family tries to avoid arguments with me now since they know I'll win. Yeah, see, that's my other thing is I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible arguer. I'm so incoherent when I try and have debates with people because I just, I get too flustered and then my words just come out like fucking word lasagna. And I'm just like, uh, uh -huh. I'm not built for conflict. I'm built to be nice and make people feel good and draw cute little guys. <laughs> I can't argue to save my life. Yeah, me neither. Me neither, friend. No good at that shit. I got the small and angry jeans. Oh, is that what it is? You gotta be small to be angry? Oh, well, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder I'm not angry. I'm almost six feet tall. I'm very small. I'm very tall. And not angry. I just like to be nice and just live in peace. And some fucking people are just assholes. <laughs> it's like one of those genetic squares that make you do bio class. <laughs> It's like, where do you lie on the X, Y graph of Angie versus not Angie versus tall versus small? <laughs> where do you lie on the square? 
My thing is, I just don't like being angry. I just don't like being angry. I don't like arguing with people. I don't like doing it. I was probably traumatized as a child because my, my parents are very much the argumentative types and I'm just like, no, thank you. <laughs> The good news is, though, I may be tall, and I might not be angry, but I do have the tall on my side, and if necessary, I can physically square up. <laughs> Multiply, no wonder. I love this new way of shading eyes that I've figured out makes me so happy. It's pretty and I like it. It makes the eyes look very glassy, which I'm very into. Actually, honestly, this bottom part could be a little bit more purpley. He's got like that little bit of purpley pink in his eyes. Yes, yes, that's what I am talking about. Yes, purple, <laughs> purple. All right, now we move on to actually shading. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, you guys, we just spent all that time doing all the flat colors, and now it's time to make them go away. <laughs> time to make them go away. So that I can do the cell shading. I don't think I'll fully finish this piece tonight, but boy golly, I might get close. Got an hour. I might be able to finish cell shading and just sit and do this boy all in one night. That sure would be nice. That'd be one one fewer that I'd have to worry about. I forgot to give him his eyeshadow. I'll do it later. I'll do it later, chat, I promise. I love your ears. Thank you. They're pointy. I love drawing characters with pointy ears, and that is why my VTuber is an elf. I just, they're so much fun! Ah yes, the classic, I'll do it later. You do not have to call me out like this, how dare you, frankly. Elves are just fun. Exactly. Exactly.
I've been using render each color individually with darker shade and lighter shade shading method. Yeah, I used to do that. And actually you can still do that this way. It just adds like a little bit of an extra step. I actually did that with my, uh, with my Mizuki sticker slash keychain design is uh, I did this and then I took the mask of all the cell shaded layers and I made the cell, sh it, it sounds so weird, but like I did it like this. And then instead of like tweaking each color individually, I just made the cell shading the same color as the base color. And then I just went in one color at a time and adjusted it. Probably doesn't sound like, probably sounds weird when I describe it like that, but maybe I'll do it here and I'll show you guys. Maybe I'll do it for Hakka. Music is making me sleepy. <laughs> yeah, cat girl mode again. You know, like Nya. <laughs> Speaking of cat girl, nya, it's me, cat girl star, nya. I've been thinking that for how expensive the redeem is, I should make cat girl mode last longer. Eternal cat girl mode. Make like make it last five minutes instead of one. Cat girl for five minutes. Well, I can't change it now. Uh, it involves me like going in back into mix it up bot and tweaking with the settings and fucking around, but. <laughs> Plus, then you guys could could like fight with the cat girl mode because you could deactivate it and then activate it and then deactivate it. <laughs> I've used 6k channel points on that just today. Oh no. <laughs> we'll see. You use those of your own free will. And cat girl mode star permanent edition. 100,000 channel points. And I just become cat girl forever. <laughs> you know, like nya. Oh man, do you guys ever get stress dreams about like your job and stuff? Because over the past couple weeks, I've had a handful of stress dreams about a job I don't have anymore. <laughs> I've been getting stress dreams about my old teaching job, but I don't teach anymore. <laughs> kept having like dreams about oh god i gotta make lesson plans oh god i gotta do this oh god but i'm like I, wait i would wake up and be like i'm i'm not a teacher anymore what if i'm gonna have stress dreams it makes more sense for me to be stressed about art shit but i never have stress dreams about art shit just like regular art shit i occasionally have stress dreams about conventions but i haven't had one of those in a while 
Meanwhile, I stopped being a teacher like three years ago. And yet... <laughs> oh, hydrate super chat. Thank you. I sip. <laughs> you know, we have the hydrates back on Twitch now. You don't have to do the super chats anymore. <laughs> you do not have to. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You guys glad you have hydrates back? Are you so proud of yourselves? Oh man, I actually had a really weird dream the other night that was not a stress dream. Um, it had like a full plot and everything. And I, I couldn't tell you like straight up what it was about because it was one of those like weird kind of shapeless dreams. But it had like, it felt like it had a full story and I just kind of forgot the important bits. It was really weird though. I just remember it made me very stressed out. Because <laughs> it was like, these characters were getting recruited to like join this agency, like this company. I think it was like a Magical Girl things. Mm. But you found out like halfway through the dream that like, no, they're not actually being contracted. They're being brainwashed and they don't want to be Magical Girl. It was like, it was very Madoka, but like, different it was weird it had a similar vibe to the whole madoka thing it's like no don't be a magical girl it's cursed but it was very strange Also, I could fly in that dream, but that's a thing that happens in a lot of my dreams. <laughs> I dream about flying a lot. I was just born to be a flight attendant, obviously. <laughs> Who's taller, Ari or Emery? Ooh, that's a good question. I actually always imagined um, Emery being kind of short. Not like super short, but just like around a little shorter than average height, probably. Because, okay, here's my thing. Spoiler alert for our D&D &D game, but um, I imagine that Amelia is actually pretty tall. And then, so then when Emery became Emery, she had to get used to the fact that, oh shit, wait, I'm not, I'm not tall anymore. <laughs> so she's teeny tiny small, no. I would think that probably Ariana is taller between the two of them. I don't imagine be Emery being like short, short. But she's like about maybe like... She's probably like 5'5", five five, and Ariana I think is like... Or 5'4", and I think Ariana is like 5'5", five five or 5'6", five or something. I gave my characters canon heights, I do not remember them off the top of my head. <laughs> She got cursed to be small. Yeah, and also, uh, this has never come up in the campaign, and it probably never will, but I like to think that after Emery became Tiefling, she tripped on the tail a lot 
when she was getting used to it. Like the curse of, oh God. <laughs> She's just got like this fifth limb now that she doesn't know what to do with. <laughs> If you make fun of Emery for being short, how in danger will your ribs or shins be? Very. Extremely so. She will just wreck your shit. It's funny, though, because I imagine she'd get confused the first time someone calls her short. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, almost six feet. Wait, I'm not anymore. Shit. Shit! <laughs> I always wonder what people qualify as short, short height is so relative. Five foot two and at home I never feel short because I'm the tallest one out of my family the moment I walk out the door though. Yeah, I mean, I don't, people always think that my short is very different because I am so tall. And so whenever I try to make a quote unquote short character, they're always like, five four. <laughs> One of my best friends is not even five foot tall. She's four foot 11 and three quarters, and she's very sensitive about the three quarters part. Like, if you leave it out, she'll get mad at you. And meanwhile, I am pushing six feet. <laughs> and she flipped you the first time you met, right? And it wasn't the first time we met. It was like the third time we hung out, I think. I get to see Soro in May because I'm going to her house for Momocon. I'm so excited. So used to seeing Vector as a small boy only to realize he's taller than me. Yeah, it's like I wanted to make him short, but apparently he's just like, I see whatever height I gave him, I, that's my version of short. And apparently it's not universal. <laughs> I'm like, oops, sorry, I'm tall. I have a skewed perspective of the world. Ha 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 ha. Oops. A lot of detail on these outfits. I was thinking, oh, I could maybe finish Haka tonight. I don't think I'm gonna finish him on stream though. Maybe I will. It's just this part is so tedious. And then even after that, I gotta go in and do all the color adjustments. But I sure would love to just have him finish tonight. That would be very nice. So maybe I will just keep streaming until I'm done because it would only be like an extra maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes. Uh. 
God damn it. I was thinking the noise I made when I said I was tired. It reminds me of, have you guys heard that meme? Where it's like the girl, she's like left a voicemail for I guess like her boyfriend or something and she's like, and I love you, and I miss you, <sighs> and they put like videos of like cars speeding up like a drag race on a, in the background, cause it sounds like a car engine revving, <laughs> and now I'm thinking about it, it's making me laugh. Oh gosh, I hate that video. It's so stupid, but I also love it because it's so stupid. And I'm like, oh God, I love you and I miss you. <laughs> I don't know the context and I feel like I don't need the context. It's just, it's just fucking funny. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> And that noise is what I made, the sound I made when I said I was tired just now, and now I'm thinking about it, god damn it. <laughs> and I just hear, I love you, miss you. <laughs> I'm talking about a video. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. I just don't know what to look for. I wonder if I can find it. <laughs> yes, I found it. Yes. <laughs> That's 8 million views. Hey, sorry, I missed your call. Here. Um, Copy paste it into the chat and then you guys can enjoy it with me. <laughs> you guys can enjoy this with me. <laughs> I just, I love you and I'll miss you. And I miss you. Now I'm just watching it. I really, I really want you to call me back. I just really want you to call me back. <laughs> now everybody's gone and they're just watching that video with me in another tab. Hi, welcome back if you just got back from watching that video. It's me again. Surprise! <laughs> It's just, it's so cursed, but it makes me laugh. God, I watched and I can't stop laughing. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. We got him. <laughs> why does it go on for so long? I don't know. That's part of why it's funny. It's like, why? Why did you do that? I love you and I miss you. And I really want you to turn my call. <laughs> Why does the girl in that video sound like you? No, we can't do this. We can't. No. <laughs> people keep saying that I sound like other YouTubers and I do not understand it at all. But if people start saying I sound like the girl from the I love you and I miss you <laughs> video, then I will pass away. <laughs> No, I do not sound like that. Shut up. I'm just doing a very good impression, okay? I would never make car revving noises on a voicemail. That's cringe. That's cringe. <laughs> it's true though. No! Is that true? Shut up. Banned. Banned from chat. <laughs> Chat's just full of <laughs> Oh no. I've cursed 
the chat. The chat is cursed. The chat is cursed. I'm sorry, everyone. I've cursed the chat. By my hand, the cat, the, the, the chat has been cursed. <laughs> yes. I mean, no, it's not me. Damn it. Full stream is cursed. Yep. Cast it into the fires of hell. You've done this star you've cursed this chat with. Ah, yes, I have. <laughs> Somebody's got to clip that and then actually make it into a video. Someone's gonna do it. I'm in my mom's car. Vroom vroom. Get out my car. Oh. <laughs> Next, what's left of us? An emotional moment room by someone's engine noise and spin stop. No! Cursed! Cursed! Yeah, no, I'm... Okay, yeah, sure, fine. We'll we'll do this so that... We'll do it now so that I don't do it on the next, like, actual stream. It's like, uh, I, I, was, I was murdered and reincarnated or something as a tiefling. And I just miss my family. And I've got this curse that makes me go fucking crazy and kill people. And I just... And I just... <sighs> Thing. No. Oh no. God damn it. Anyway, watch our DD show. Watch our DD show, please. Oh. <laughs> no, it's cursed now. I've done this. I did this. New episode on Friday! Yes! New episode on Friday! I'm so excited! What's gonna happen? No one knows, because it's improvised. Oh my god. I mean, Jay sorta knows. He jo he knows what he's throwing us into, but he doesn't know how we're gonna react to it. I think at some point he hinted that we might actually finish the arc this coming session. And I'm like, oh boy, are we finally gonna be done with this fucking volcano? I gotta actually punch the volcano, though. I keep joking that I'm gonna do it, and I haven't done it yet! I'm a liar! I have to punch the volcano! <laughs> I can't stop making the noises. Fuck. Chat, help. Help, chat. I can't stop making the noises. <laughs> Cursed stream. Cursed content. No! <laughs> no help is coming. No! <laughs> Okay, here. We're talking about cars. And we're talking about cursed content. I got one more for y'all. I got one more cursed content for y'all. Have you guys ever considered how the movie Cars, Disney and Pixar's Cars, is beat by beat a Hallmark Christmas movie just without the Christmas? Have you ever considered that? Because it absolutely is. And no, I will not be taking constructive criticism ever. <laughs> if you think about it, it's true. It follows the exact same story beats as a Hallmark Christmas movie. Just it doesn't have Christmas because I don't think that cars celebrate Christmas. Thanks, I hate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I unironically love Hallmark Christmas movies. Do you also love Cars? Disney and Pixar's mo hit movie Cars? <laughs> Featuring the song Life is a Highway by Rascal Flatts. Life is a highway and I'm gonna ride it all night. <laughs>
circle and it's so fucking cursed. Ah! Oh no. Ah! I'm crying. Ah. So anyways, I started. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I'm crying. I need to just draw, but I can't because I keep thinking of <laughs> Life is a highway and I'm gonna ride it all night long. <laughs> it sounds so freaking Oh yeah <laughs> Life is a Okay, I'm back. Thank you for sounding like a porn VA. No! That's what I was afraid of! We can't take it to that extreme! We can't. Molly is very actively concerned about me, though, because I keep making those fucking noises. I'm scaring my cat, you guys. She hates it. Can't be a porn star, I'm ace. I'm too ace for this shit. I'm the person in the movie theater watching the horror movie yelling at the main characters to stop being horny. <laughs> I can't be a porn star. She hates it. <laughs> Good God. Literally has a horny be gone pin in the store. Yes, exactly. Stop being horny. We're at a crime scene. God damn it. <laughs> That's me. That's me every day when my partner gets too horny at the crime scene. Stop being horny. We're at a crime scene. Mm. This is a call out post specifically for Konami Date. <laughs> There's been a murder, you horny bastards! Akka, you're so cute. He's just a cute little bird guy. And he's on the move. He's fucking on the move. He's running. <laughs> he's on the fucking move. He's zooming. Fun fact. Slightly cursed fact, but I don't care. Um, I actually, I wasn't sure what kind of poses I wanted to do for like some of these little cheebs. And so I actually went back and like found some old mail club stickers that I liked. 
and I just kind of like referenced, I, I copy referenced my own poses that I drew. Art criminal. Number one, art criminal. Because, like, this Haka pose is very uh, similar to the steampunk Rory sticker from the mail club a few months ago. I just really, really like that pose and I wanted to use it for something else as well. And I'm like, that's never gonna be a keychain. Fuck it. <laughs> Stealing that pose. Ganking my own pose. You can't stop me. It's my own art. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Police sirens, criminal! <laughs> I was thinking this was very Rory slash Gremlin. Yeah, I just wanted to do like some more dynamic poses with my charms and I, I still like really, really love that uh, Rory art that I did for the Steampunk AU Mail Club. And so I just kind of, I didn't trace it directly, but I uh, very heavily referenced it when I was sketching this pose. That's something I want to try and get better at is uh, doing more dynamic poses with uh, my little keychains and my charm designs. I feel like they're fun and I wanna have cute, like, bouncy, bouncy art designs and shit. We've been called there's an art theft. Um, is it theft if I stole from myself? Does that count? I don't think it counts. Like the DeviantArt pose theft fights, but I stole from myself. I don't think that's worth anything. <laughs> Dynamic poses are hard to do, but boy, do they pay off. Yeah, my thing is I just have a hard time coming up with them and making them look cute. I love drawing dynamic poses. I just have a hard time like coming up with them a lot of the times. <coughs> Hang on. Mm. Star, that's called non-creativity. Banned. Genuinely banned. <laughs> I do what I want. My freaking art. And guess what? If I hadn't told you guys, you never would have known. So why does it matter? Once someone claims Star is an AI art girl, blocked, banned, hunted for sport immediately. Immediately. Because, yeah, like, I genuinely really do like drawing, like, fun, cool, dynamic poses. And I feel like with some of my charms recently, I've gotten a little bit lazy with the poses. I don't want to draw charms where the characters just stand in there. I want to draw them doing something cute and fun because I feel like that's more fun, but I've just been having a hard time coming up with poses recently. So I've been making an effort to do more dynamic poses with my charm designs and stuff. I missed a few feathers, but. All right, I think, uh, well, okay. that's everywhere which means that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the white layer we're gonna set this to multiply and now we're gonna go in we're gonna set the face art as a reference layer which is a trick that someone in the YouTube comments taught me and we're gonna go in and we're gonna change each color one at a time let's go so I want the eyes to be more blue 
Oh shit, wait, before I start doing this, I need to turn my nightlight off. Because my monitor is on night mode. Or maybe it wasn't. <laughs> okay, then we're still good. Okay, and then we're gonna do it to his skin, and we're gonna make the skin a little bit more pink. So he looks a little bit more alive. We're just gonna change the color of the skin shadows. Oh, save. Okie dokie. And then let's do the hair. Shadow's a little darker on the hair. They're already purple, so I think that's pretty good. Give the boy pigmentation, I know. Um, we're gonna do this to the feathers. We're gonna make them a little bit more, like, cool and neutral tone shadows. And we're just going to go and we're going to do this to every individual color in the flat colors. Make those shadows really pop. Now we're going to do the beads. That's pretty. Now we're going to do the gold. We defo want to change the shade and color of the gold. Probably doesn't need to be that saturated, though. Yeah. Feel like I want to make these shadows a little darker. Yeah. These little fluff balls and this and these little socks can also be a little bit more neutral, desaturated. <clears throat> His shadows should also be a little bit darker. Okay. Excellent. Yes! Haka! There he is! The boy! We're not done, though. We're not done. He needs some blushies. Because that's how we make our characters look alive. So we're gonna give him some blushies. It's gonna look a little bad at first, but it's it's a trust the process type of step. I think I want his blushies to be a little bit more pink. The pink side, so it kind of matches with all the purples he's got going on. There we go. So see, there's the before, after, before, after, before, after. He looks like he has a little bit of blood inside of him. Yeah. Then what do I want to do? I want to do the highlights next, but... Now we're going to select the shadows. Invert the selection, and we're going to start doing highlights. So we've got a little crossbar, and now we're going to come up and we're going to do more detail.
chibis are surprisingly nuanced art form. They really are. And I would know, I spent like a lot of time uh, trying to figure out like the best way to draw chibis. Cause I, I knew that I wanted to, like I struggled so hard with making stuff that was cute. And so I just spent like a really long time focusing really hard and trying to learn how to make cute shit. And like, even now I still feel like my art isn't exactly where I want it to be with like cuteness wise. But I I'm satisfied, but I still see the room for improvement. And I'm like, I gotta make shit cuter. It could be cuter though. It could be cuter. <laughs> but yeah, in general, I just really like drawing cute shit. It's fun. And I'm glad that I get to do it kind of sort of for a living. If cute shit is fun. Keep <laughs> kaye. Okay, now my freaking night light just came on. I saw that color shift. Turn off. There. Just vibing, listening to this, like, big, flashy guitar music. And just drawing little highlights on a cute little, little guy. Making his hair nice and shiny. I keep thinking that I would love to have, like, to make VTuber models for other people as well as my own. I would love an army of VTuber children. That seems like it would be a delight, but I still just like get so hung up on, oh God, how much do I charge? Oh God, do I have time to commit to that kind of thing? Oh God, etc., etc. I'd love to commission you for that. Aw, I'm glad. <laughs> I want a proper VTuber for real. Yeah. I like, I want to make some improvements to my own, but I don't do any of the rigging. That's my skeleton dealer's thing that she do. Love to commission you, but I have no money. Yes, yeah, fair. <laughs> Got any improved bones for me? Yeah, exactly. I just waltz up to her and I'm like, Hey, Sarah, you got any of those good bones? Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Bone dealer. Yeah, she is. She's my, she's my skeleton dealer. She gave me bones. So that I may move. Skeleton dealer. Bone seller, I'm going into battle. I'm going into stream and I require your strongest bones. <laughs> uh, you cannot handle my strongest bones, VTuber. Putting lots of thought into details that are so small, nobody's gonna see them. Somebody fucking stop me. <laughs> no, I like your details. Uh-oh. Little tiny details that no one's gonna see realistically. Oops.
with the entire B movie on one quote on one of the beads. Oh God. Be comically small. Would never be seen. Ah. B scene. Ha ha ha. Zig that said the thing. Ha B movie. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, I'm drawing right now. <laughs> I forgot. He's got some like little patterns and stuff that I need to actually put on there. I need to draw these little patterns. They go swish, 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 swish. And then he's got patterns on his little sash, too. They are. Little patterns and things. Ye. Okay, now what I'm actually gonna do... I need to make this gold shinier. How do we make the gold shinier? Is we add darker shadows. See, typically when an object is really shiny, you'll see a higher contrast between the shadows and the highlights. Darks are darker and the lights are lighter. I really want to push those shadows. Make them look really metallic. And then my absolute favorite part of doing shinies is adding like actual glowies to the shinies. Yes. 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 This is my favorite part. This is the it's like a reward TikTok audio. <laughs> Yes! And you put it on top of the line art so it really fucking looks like it's glowing. Yes, because it's gold and it's shiny and it's metallic and chrome! Yes! Yes! Witness me! Or whatever the quote from that movie is, I haven't seen it so I wouldn't know. Yes! <laughs> Yes, yes. See, now I'm also gonna do some additional glowies to these like purples on his hands. He's got like the cursed hand and it's cool. Except that might be a little bit too much. We need to kind of tone it down. All right. 
going. And now, the piece de resistance. We come in and we add the light glowies. Then we add contrast color glowies to the underside. Oh, hi, Molly. Hi, meow meow. What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get right up on the mic. You're gonna bump into the mic. Here she comes. If you hear something bump on the mic, that's Molly. That's how she makes herself known. Hi, Molly cat. She has come to sit on my desk. Louise. Give screeches? Okay, I give Molly screeches. She's being sweet, but she's also kind of being in the way. And you know what, chat? Just because I'm extra, I'm gonna give him the underlights. Aw, oh, yes, we're doing this shit. We are doing this shit. Molly, you are rather inconveniently placed right now, kitten. You're a little precarious, and she's walking right in front of my tablet, and she walks in front of my motion capture. It's like a reward. Getting to do the little underlights. Yes! Listen, sometimes I just like to add a little bit of extra yes to my line art. It's hard to describe, but you know the feeling. It just makes you go, yes! Yes! <laughs> and then I'm just gonna fuck around a little bit. I am simply going to fuck around a little bit for like a hot second. I'm a huge fan of this thing now, adding like a very, very thin like stroke around the uh, character in like a contrasting color. Cause it's like, it's so minor, but there it is without and there it is with. It just, it pops, but it's hard to tell why at first. And I just, I think it looks so neat. It's subtle, but it just like kind of, it tricks your eyes into making it look more interesting. <laughs> I suppose one could say. How dare you trick my eyes? Haha, -ha, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm tricking your eyes into thinking that my artwork is better! Woo! <laughs> it's subtle, but I'm tricking you! I'm tricking everyone! Haha! -ha!
I alt tabbed, what did you do? You will never know! Ha ha! <laughs> do I put it around these feathers too? Maybe. We'll try it and we'll see how it looks. I dig it. I'm digging it. I think I am going to complete this line, though. Right up the butt. to his hair too. Sorry, I've gone quiet again. I'm focusing. I'm in focus mode. I'm focusing. It's the sound of focus. Go around the perimeter. Check for any extraneous ink marks, like that one. Sharpen up those corners, baby. Sharpen up those points, baby. Let's go. Balance is a vibe. It is true. We are vibing here. It's true. Haka! <laughs> It's a haka. I finished him. Oh. <laughs> I need to make his little chest thingy glow. Because that does canonically glow. Oh, too much. Too much, I think. there. So we're gonna fuck around just a little bit more with some motherfucking uh, gradient maps. I always like experiment with a gradient with a gradient map right at the end because sometimes it can make it look interesting but I don't end up using it every time. Sometimes it can kind of do the opposite of what I want it to do. Whoa, very bright. Whoa! Oh god, he's going Super Saiyan! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, 
like, see, this is kind of doing the opposite of what I wanted to do. Sometimes they can add cool effects to your colors, but other times it just doesn't look good. Yeah, see, I don't like it with the gradient map on. But I might fuck around with something else. Let's try a color balance. Make the highlights warm, kind of purpley. And the shadows cool, kind of purpley. There's before, after, before, after. It's real fucking subtle, but yeah. <laughs> All right, and with that, I think we're done. I think I'm done for the night. I think I'm done with this bird man, <laughs> which means stream is over. Stream is over, we're done, yay, clap, clap. <laughs> All righty, so thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. We, I'm surprised that we finished that all in one go. I'm hype about it, but I'm also surprised. <laughs> yes, save, thank you. All right, I'm gonna do my typical end of stream shilling. So thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed the stream. My next stream will be on Friday, but it will not be on my channel. It will be on my friend Jay's channel because he is the dungeon master of our Dungeons and Dragons game that we will be playing on Friday. And I'm so, 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 so hype, hype, hype. <laughs> uh, if you want to purchase this art, it will eventually be on my online store, thestarfishface.com. And if you want to get an email, you want to be notified by email, as soon as this haka is available, uh, I have a newsletter on my website that you can sign up for. Oh shit, the eyeshadow! I'll, I'll, I'll do it after stream. I'm hungry. I want to go eat. <laughs> I'll do it later. Uh, but yeah, so I'll have stuff on my store. And hmm, what else should I pin? If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube yet, please do that because I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel this year because chat keeps trying to convince me to aim for uh aim for 100k before the end of the year and we're gonna try and make it happen oh my god <laughs> all right but yes i will see you guys later thank you all for hanging out i appreciate your eyeballs and i will see you guys next time goodbye